CBS 4 is your local election headquarters. Early voting begins in Indiana tomorrow. Yeah, CBS 4 State House reporter Hannah Adamson spoke with election officials and voter advocacy groups about what you need to know. Starting Tuesday, hundreds of machines, many of which look like these, will be up and running as early voting begins statewide in Indiana. Come on out and vote. We're ready for you. With hours to go before county clerk's offices across the state open their doors for early voting, Marion County Clerk Kate Sweeney Bell wants to remind registered voters to bring a government issued ID in order to cast their ballot. They need to remember to bring their ID with them. And if they are a newly registered voter, we ask that they bring a piece of mail. Although only one vote center will open in Marion County Tuesday, the county plans to open eight more later this month. In the meantime, Clerk Sweeney Bell says her office is working on an online tool that will allow voters to see what wait times look like across all vote centers in real time. Voters can go to any one of the vote centers that's open either for early voting or on election day. The Indiana Bar Foundation says you'll need to check with your county to see what polling places are available and where exactly you can go. Some counties have it. You can go to any of the voting centers, regardless of where you're, you know, where you live. And some of them you really need to go to the precinct of where you are registered within that particular county. If you want to mail in your absentee ballot, election officials say make sure you qualify ahead of time that not everyone is eligible to vote absentee by mail. If they want to mail in an absentee ballot, the most important thing is that they need to apply for one. Common Cause Indiana says those who qualify for a mail-in ballot have until Thursday, October 24th to submit an application. Some of those reasons might be that you're elderly or you're disabled or you're the caregiver for an elder or a disabled person. Uh, perhaps you were assigned to work all 12 hours on election day. And if you do want to apply and you're going to send your application in by mail, I would make sure to do that several days in advance. And if you do qualify to send a mail-in ballot, election officials say it must be in the ballot box no later than 6 o'clock on election day, although they strongly urge you to mail that in as soon as possible. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Hannah Adamson.